Network Sims is customizable and it's possible for institutions to set up their own online testing. So let's take an example. So every element within inside Network Sims is identified with a tag. So the instructor basically defines the challenge or the tags that are required for the test. So in this case it's a wireless simulated example where we're going to set get the student to identify configure the host name, the BVI interface and so on. So this is uploaded onto a server with the required password and the instructor email address. So we've we've uploaded the challenge to number 15 here. Okay so this page can be customized to the institute so all the contact details are set up. So we'll set up the test. So this is a, an identifying number and then we'll just give the name of the person and the password is agreed beforehand and can change at any time. So once that's set then the student basically just has to go back to the challenge and we can see it's now set up. So if we compare the elements there, they should match up exactly with the XML script that's been created. And then the student can now start the test. And what we'll do is we'll just set up a few of the details and then finish the test. So in this case we're setting up the BVI interface 138.231.174.1.255.255.240.0 Okay, so let's say we've done all the challenge elements and we now end the test. Okay, so we have a look at email, so we have no emails there yet. And what we'll do is we'll finish the test. Okay, so the student should get an email back to say that they've actually completed the test. And then we should find that when we look at our email, the details of the test are here. So we can see here the instructor gets uh, an email to say that the challenge has been started. It defines the name. The, this is the starting email. So it says the user name, what their matriculation number is or their ID. And then at the end of the test what we see is the number of elements that were correct. So it's fairly easy to paste this into a, a spreadsheet and then it's parsed in comma separated format so that uh, a mark can be gained. So we can see here that uh, we got three elements correct and six commands. The result that comes back actually shows the commands that were actually used.